Alright guys, today we're taking a look at a new rogue called Windows Cleaning Toolkit. And this is actually a clone of the much older Fake Vimes family. However, uh, if you've watched any previous videos, it's sort of like Think Point and Fake Vimes thrown in a blender. And you'll see why in a moment. So we'll go ahead and run it. And we'll open Task Manager. And as you can see, we have a setup exe file running and that file is now gone off of the desktop and here and it's replaced with this gar-fkfv file and it's using quite a bit of CPU and now we have Windows Cleaning Toolkit loading it's doing some things and now it is rebooting our computer for whatever reason. Interesting. All right, Windows is back up and we have our black screen. What's that about? Hmm. I mean, the mouse works, but where is Windows? I wonder. Ah, Windows cleaning toolkit instead interesting so it's starting up and now we have the fake antivirus and as you can see it is very similar to the fake vimes family i don't remember any of the names of course it's been a while but uh this sort of not running explorer and running this instead straight out of the uh think point family uh mo so can't really do anything until this is done scanning, so we'll just wait on that. And now we have seven infections, clearly. We'll go ahead and just remove all. It says we have a trial version. We'll go ahead and activate. And a very convenient little payment page. No Bitcoin to mess with, anything like that. No money pack. Very easy. Okay. So done with that. Let's take a look at the rest of the fake antivirus. We have the homepage, firewall, blah blah blah. We've got some other stuff, anti-phishing, process control, auto run, service manager, what? Look at all this crap you get. So much with this fake antivirus. All in one suite, you get everything. We've got the scanner, deep scanner, custom scanner, some history, some settings that you can't change at all. Or maybe you can, I don't know. So, there's that. Looks like there's a little bit of help. No, not really. Windows Cleaning Toolkit by MSN. A lot of Windowsy looking things. And we actually have a few languages here. Very nice. And as you can see, um, well, we really can't do much other than look at this fake antivirus. Uh, clearly, we can't run Task Manager, and we can't Alt-Tab anything. Control-Alt-Delete. There we go. It does work, but you can't really do much from here. No Task Manager, nothing. And we actually can get to the desktop. There is a way around this. There might be two ways. One way is to do this allow unprotected startup. No, we gotta do the cool way, which involves going into the all-in-one suite, going to the Braunmauer option. I'm assuming that's German. And we have a nice explorer-looking window, which we can just navigate to explore.exe and there we go we're on the desktop however this is a hollow victory as you can see can't really do much from here got the firewall blocking everything we can open remote desktop for some reason magnifier yes yes we can how about solitaire no no solitaire how about Obviously no task manager, how about just run reg edits nothing. 
so we really can't do much at this point. Let's just go ahead and reboot into safe mode, see if we get anything from there. Go ahead and safe mode with networking, run that. And of course we have the black background indicating that nothing is happening. Oh, except Windows Cleaning Toolkit, of course. That's happening. And it's off-center for whatever reason. Seems to always happen. I don't know why. And as you can see, even though we checked to... Um, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Anyway, like I was saying, um, I checked the little thing to say boot to desktop, please, and it didn't honor it, so doing this will get you there. So that's pretty convenient. Close that. Can we run anything? No, we still can't run anything. So our best course of action actually is to just manually remove this, which will involve deleting a couple of registry keys and then eventually the file itself. And then after that, we'll run Malwarebytes, just for good luck or whatever reason. Anyway, we'll be booting into safe mode with command prompt this time. So we'll restart. Alright, so now we have a command prompt window. We'll just go to regedit. And it has actually hooked itself as the default shell and replaced explorer.exe as the default shell. It hasn't actually deleted explorer. Sounded a bit unclear. So to do that, or to fix that, we'll go ahead and go to current user, system, or actually not system, software, do that every time, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, and just click on win logon and you'll see a shell key here and as you can see it's app data roaming guard whatever you can just replace that with explorer.exe it's all you need to do and sometimes this fake antivirus will create another registry key in uh, current user software Microsoft Windows and then under run under current version run, it'll say guard software or something similar. It doesn't happen here, but we don't really need to mess with that anyway. So now we can just head on over to, or actually we can just do a, can we do, I think we can run explore without the fake AV running. We can, okay, perfect. So we'll just go to the top here do a percent sign app data another percent sign and this will take us to our app data folder this works in 7 vista xp 8 8.1 whatever you have and we'll have this guard dot four characters so just delete that and we'll go ahead and close out of that close command prompt reboot back into regular mode So we are back into Windows and the Rogue is almost gone. We're just going to go ahead and download uh, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware just to make sure everything is clean and nice. So we'll go ahead and do that eventually. Malwarebytes.org And this also gives me a chance to mention that Malwarebytes has done something very, very important. They are now hosting their own files. Now you might not think that's a big deal, but before you would have to go to CNED or some other site, but now get the files directly from Malwarebytes, don't have to mess around. Much easier, I'm very happy that they did this. Jeez, uh, great. Great, great, great decision on their part. So we'll go ahead and run the executable now. Click next, click accept. Next, 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 next. Install. Do not enable the free trial. Click finish. Go 
it'll start updating. All right. And we'll just go ahead and do a quick scan. All right, so the scan is completed. We'll go ahead and click OK, show results. And we have a couple of registry keys and something else here. We'll, OK. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove selected. It wants us to reboot immediately. We will do that. Click yes. All right, and that will wrap it up for Windows Cleaning Toolkit. And as you could see in the title, there's actually another rogue called Windows Expert Console. However, it is exactly the same as this fake antivirus. It looks exactly the same, works the same, all of that. So I'm hoping that there aren't just new clones of this fake antivirus every day, but I fear that might be a possibility. So I'll try to figure something out on the videos. And that will wrap it up. Thank you all very much for watching. I have links in the description. And stay safe.